All right, it's time to review Star Tropics on the Virtual Console. Star Tropics. Let's get it out of the way now. It's a Zelda clone. Okay, clone is a little generous. It's more of a complete ripoff. Let's start with the very first screen after you hit start. Does this look familiar to anybody else? Here's the plot of the story. You're a kid named Mike, and you come to the island to find your uncle, only to find out he's been kidnapped by aliens. The first thing you see is by far the worst graphics on the NES I have ever seen. Even by 1990 standards, this is embarrassing. It looks like they were made with an amateur RPG maker. Then there's the quirkiness of the game. Like the fact you can't progress in the game even if you know what to do. You need to talk to every single person, even if their information is completely useless. Then the designers come up with puzzles with no clues to their solution. Look at this puzzle. You have to go to the other side of the island, but there's no way to get there. How on earth would you supposed to know that there were invisible holes to get through these island walls? You see a bottle on the beach. There's no way to get to it. Oh wait, you're supposed to go through a hidden cave that no one's told you about. The game is just filled with sloppy, poor design. Then there's the caves you go into. Wait, what the hell is this? The graphics are totally different. It's like they slapped two different games together and figured no one would notice. The graphics in the caves are actually quite good. Why didn't they make the whole game look like this? The caves start becoming really repetitive, with very little innovation. The programmers must really love that footstep puzzle, because they are everywhere. And the enemies are just like a direct ripoff of Zelda, from the bats to the Octoroks, and even to the snakes that move exactly like the ones in Zelda. There are a few good things about the game, like the game is divided into chapters. That's something different. Or in the later chapters when you have to find the correct notes to play to the organ. The main problem with this game is the control. Your character is way too stiff and is partially the reason why the game is so hard. That's right, this game is hard. And when I say hard, I mean very hard. I'm talking Contra with three lives hard. If you get frustrated with cheap hits, unrelenting enemies with unfair attacks, you won't like this game. Well, the question is, should you download it? Well, it's kind of a classic, but it hasn't aged very well. If you don't mind wasting 500 Wii points, go for it.